Start of day two, and got some pretty good leads. And <laughs> no idea what the pants are yet. Somebody had said that maybe the pants were meant for winemaking. They wear special grape crushing pants, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the plan is to head to the Mustafa Kamel at the Turk statue, which is near the Blue Mosque, so let's go check that out. When I got there, I found this. Those, those are the pants. <laughs> okay, so so you have to wear the pants. Why? Because it's, it's traditional. Because because, because oily wrestling. It's oily wrestling. Yes. So we're gonna oily wrestle. Yes. With these people watching. Yes. Okay, I'm ready. And then I realized the reason I was getting drenched in sunflower oil was to get my next clue. Oh, come on. But what I didn't realize is this guy was the Turkish oil wrestling champ. Even though he spun me around like a pizza, I think he was taking it easy on me, but he was still a good sport. The things I ended up pulling out of his pants were actually two photos of a man with a backgammon board. My friends online are clue-cracking geniuses, and I was on my way to the Grand Bazaar in no time at all. The bazaar is huge, so I just started asking around. And eventually I did find the guy I was looking for. That's gotta be our man right there. Hey! I have got nothing on backgammon. Nine, that's a good roll. So I called my friend Al Gates. Al, are you there? This is so cool that I can finally talk to somebody who uh, wasn't following my blog. Uh, actually, I'm here. Honestly, he's kicking my butt pretty hard. Al up my sleeve, yes. I got the next clue. No surprise, I did not know what the clue meant, but I did know that it was my last day in Istanbul. It looks like I'm being rerouted again. 